uh, coconut yogurt. I've got two cans of coconut cream and this one is um, fat, 20% 20 fat. Um, and there vary heaps in uh, the percentage of fat, which is really just telling you how dilute the coconut cream is, uh, like how much water they've added. So um, it's a good idea to make sure that it's around 20% fat. Um, okay, so look at different brands. So I'm going to make two cans worth and because the coconut cream's in a can we know that it's sterile and there aren't any bugs in there so I'm not going to worry about heating it up, um, heating it and holding it at a higher temperature so we're just going to make it straight away. But I am going to add um, some egg white powder and again that, that powder will be will be pretty sterile as well so I'm not too stressed about it. So we want about um, 40 grams of powder to combine and don't worry you will get some lumps with the egg white powder that's just part of it but it's nothing to stress about. Heat it up to um, 43C which is 110 F or have a look on the side of your yogurt starter and, and um, see what temperature they're recommending and, and, and go with that. See we're up to 42.5 degrees, so that's that's good enough for me. We don't need to um, be completely spot on. You yeah, know, and a little bit higher is fine as well. So just get my temperature probe out of the way. And then I've got a clean cup, so I'm just going to put a couple, a tablespoon or so of liquid. And you can see that the egg white, like it's foamed up a little bit. There's still a few lumps, but it's, it's not too bad. Um, and one thing, just to be really careful with the egg white in there. You don't want to get it the temperature too high because it will cook the egg white and you'll get a little curdle if it, go, if it goes too high. So it's an incentive to being um, to being gentle. So then I've just got my starter culture. So we want a teaspoon, about a teaspoon of culture. And make sure you're using a clean, clean dry spoon for that. And then we'll just gently stir to make a paste. And it always goes lumpy on me, <laughs> but it doesn't really matter. So you just think these poor bacteria have been freeze-dried and now they're getting rehydrated. So you know, it's a pretty stressful time for the little fellas. So just add a little bit more liquid just to make that. And then add to the main. And of course we've got all our good bacteria in the cup, so we'll just rinse, rinse the cup out a couple of times. Great, and then give it a good stir. We want those bacteria distributed nice and evenly between the throughout the mixture. And then I've got my I've got two jars here clean from the dishwasher. So I'm just going to carefully pour. bag here that's going to keep them the yogurt at um, keep the yogurt warm so we want it to stay at, at about 42 degrees for as long as possible so I'll just zip that up wrap it in a towel and then um, we just leave it overnight I've um, had my yogurt in the container it's probably been about um, 16 hours actually it's because it's um, been overnight and I slept in a bit this morning this is our coconut yogurt it's been in for about um, 16 hours and you can see it's um still it's foamy it's you know it's thicker than it was but it's not a set it's not completely set that's going to continue to ferment um, but I you could leave it out for another you know half half a day or something but I'd rather just get it in the fridge so I don't forget about it um, that's the that's the other one you can see and it, you can see it's foamy so yeah, there's action happening in there um, but it'll thicken up over the next 24 hours and then it'll be really lovely uh, and that's all there is to yogurt making